This is a Bailey autograph 794i, and that 79 is important because it refers to the fact that this is a 7.9, almost 8 meter vehicle. It's a real big one, and the benefit of that is in the interior. You'll see in a moment just how huge this is inside. It's a really, really nice layout. It's based on the Peugeot chassis. It's got the 165 horsepower engine. It's 3.85 tonnes, so it's a C1 licence for this one. So you need to check that you've got C1 category no driving licence. If you haven't, and you can upgrade to it, of course, a lot of people have. It depends when you pass your driving test. But yeah, a big, chunky vehicle. A load of space in this one. I'll show you a couple of things on the outside before we go in. This one here is a huge storage area that goes right across the whole vehicle like that. So a load of space for your deck chairs or your, I don't know, <laughs> inflatable paddle boards, whatever else you like to take with you. If we come on round, we've got the uh, preparation for a bike rack on this one. We've also got reversing camera. That's just built in just there. If we come round here, I like the funky rear lights on this one as well. It looks really smart. We've got the awning, as you can see, all the way along. And this one here, that just takes us back into that area we're just looking at. So it's a pass-through. It goes right across the entire vehicle, like so. Anyway, it's the interior I am keen to show you on this one because it's really, really smart. LPG tanks live in here. That one there is a very good question. <laughs> That's to put your, um, put your barbecue on. Oh, he will not so much ice cream at that speed. <laughs> Good old Eric Morecambe. That one there is um, something else. A blue. That's a blue. That's what that one is. Right. I'm going to stop showing my ignorance and head on inside. Here we go. This is the bit you want to see because it's vast in here. Look at this. Really big, spacious, comfortable lounge area. You've got the swiveling seats, of course. That one spins around as well. You've also got seat belts here. So this is what makes this into a four-person travelling vehicle. That one there lifts out so everyone can sit with their legs facing forward. But also this converts to a bed. So there's a section here, and you can see it there, that pulls out. And that makes that into a big bed just there. Let's come right to the front. 2.3 litre diesel, I think I'm right in saying, but 165 horsepower, definitely. And um, yeah, manual gearbox all the usual bits and pieces you would expect. We've got the big opening window up here at the top, so a lot of light and a lot of ventilation into here, but there are blinds that come across. You can see how that one will just lift up like so. And if you put it the other way, we've got a bug screen. In fact, there's a bug screen I was gonna show you inside the door. I'll show you that in a moment. That one is a big storage area. We'll see a lot of those as we get around the vehicle. You see them tucked away everywhere. So down underneath here, for example, is not a storage area, in fact, that's a fuse box. But anyway, there are nonetheless plenty of them. Um, TV mounts onto here, again with the opening skylights, again with the blinds that come across like this. More storage on this side. Like so, we've got the little reading lights as well with the USB uh, hookups in there as well, so you can charge your phone off of those. Just above the door, this is this sliding bug screen I was mentioning. If we pull that one there, you can see you can have the door open but stop the flies coming in, which is a rather nice feature. That one there is the control panel, so it's switching for your uh, fresh water system, for your lights, for monitoring the vehicle, all that kind of stuff. Carbon monoxide and smoke alarms are up there as well. Some quite nice finishes about the place, I like this. They've done this with this sort of metallic silver on the grey. That looks really good. And then behind that is the kitchen area. Now what they've done with this is they've put a worktop that extends over the hob, but also, it's a noisy road today, we've also got that section there that lifts up. So you've actually got quite a decent amount of work space there if you want it. Uh, microwave is built in here as well. We've got power sockets as well for your kettle and your toaster and that kind of stuff. If we come all the way along here then, again with the storage everywhere. All these windows open and they all again have the blinds that come up. This is what I was saying about the hob. What they've done with this actually is they've given it three gas hobs and one electric hob. So if you're plugged into 240 volt power on a site, for example, it means that you can use that hob there without using any of your gas, which is rather good. 
And talking of gas, there's a, an Audi wet heating system in this one. So rather than the warm air blowing system that you often get, this is a proper central heating system. So there's radiators about the place. There's one here, for example, but they're also in underneath areas like the seating and the bed and that kind of stuff. So a lot of very subtle and very indirect heating. It's much nicer than having the warm air blasting out. Just much more of a home from home experience. And talking of a home from home experience, how about a completely separate bedroom? Look at this. That actually closes off and clips back so that when you're on a slope, it doesn't slide open. But at the minute, we've not got it clipped, so that will slide. Um, but yeah, you've actually got a completely separate bedroom at the back of the vehicle. That is fantastic. You can spend a lot of time in this. More clever features going on here. This bed gives you a load of floor space here. And you can see it get all the way around it. That, I think I'm right in saying, is one of the radiator outlets, for example. But you notice that the mattress goes back and then up. And that's because if you are particularly tall, you can extend this bed out. You lose a little bit of floor space, inevitably, but you get a longer bed. So it gives you the perfect ability to compromise. If you don't need that length, you can have more floor space. If you do need the length, well, then fine. Still got floor space, a little bit less of it, but you have got the full length bed. There's drawers underneath here, like so. But the other thing that's underneath here is... If I lift the right thing, not just the mattress, there we go. Tables, two of them. So there's a big table and then a smaller table, depending on what you want to use. So there we go, you can see there, the white one is upside down, is the large table, and then this is the smaller one if you just want like a card table or a coffee table or whatever else. Again, really adaptable, depending on how you want to use the vehicle. They put a lot of thought into this one. Let's drop that back down. Storage is tucked away everywhere, so down in there, for example, we've got bedside drawers, which is really nice. Soft clothes as well. We have USB power sockets by the bed. Pop your phone on there, plug it in, charge it up. Fantastic. And more storage in place like that. In fact, it's a hacking locker. These windows all open and they've all got blinds that drop down over them. That's actually, again, a fly screen, or you can pull it up, and you've got your night screen. But a proper central island bed in a proper separate bedroom. That is luxury living, isn't it? Put a TV in here as well if you want to. There's a bracket there for the television, power socket for television, aerial socket as well, which connects it with the aerial that is up on the roof. More storage, another drawer by the bed. Um, there's nothing underneath the drawer, so that drawer is the base of that. That bit underneath and on down is that pass-through garage that we saw underneath the back. We've got, again, skylight overhead, a lot of light coming through. Again, of course, these have all got the blinds across them, so you don't have to have the light streaming through if you don't want to. If we come back up this way then, we've got the fridge and the freezer. This is quite clever because, let's move my bag out of the way, I can show you that this will open like so, in itself not terribly spectacular, but what is, is the fact you can do it this way as well. So if you're in bed and you come out to grab a drink, you can open it from that side. And there's a freezer compartment as well, it does the same thing. There we go. More storage. And then finally on this side we have the bathroom. Check this out. So what you've got here, again it's home from home stuff because you've got the proper doors here, they're clipped back at the moment, obviously so they don't rattle around when the vehicle's under motion, but they come across here, and that means that you've got a proper separate shower compartment, and then you've got somewhere to step out into the dry. So it's not a wet room, it's a proper shower, proper separate loo. Sink, of course, the tap, and the toilet there, and then there's a bit more storage for your accoutrements in behind there. You could be very comfortable in this for a very long time, couldn't you? Imagine touring Europe in this. It'd just be brilliant. There we go. I think we've covered it. Hooks there, hang your coat on as you come in. But yeah, that's, let's come right to the back, actually, because it's quite spectacular. When we come all the way back, I mentioned it was almost 8 metres. It's just a fraction under 8 metres. And when you come right back, right back, right back, right back here, you can feel it. Let's go right through to the other end. That's a fantastic bit of kit. So these seats both swiveled round. That is such a lovely social area, isn't it? 
brilliant. Okay, there's another TV point here. I can't remember if I pointed it out, but it's at the top here. So again, um, pop your telly on there. There's a power socket in there. There's the aerial socket in there as well. And then you can sit in these lovely comfy seats here, watch a bit of telly. Fantastic. There we go. I'm going to sit down here. I think we've covered that pretty well. I'm going to say massive thanks to Dolphin Motorhomes. They've organised that tour for us. Huge thanks as ever to you guys for watching it. Let me know what you think of that one. And we'll catch you on one of these real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.